Greetings everyone, Sir Morgan here from the Technical Department. From the topic reduction and enlargement of plane figures, I'll be showing you how to reduce and enlarge a quadrilateral. This method is called the radial method. You will first draw your given quadrilateral to the dimensions on the right. Use your T-square and draw a horizontal construction line. With the use of your T-square along with your set square, draw a perpendicular line to touch the end of the line you previously drew. Identify and label the intersection of both lines as point A. On your horizontal line from point A, measure 20 millimeters and identify this point as D. Now on your vertical line from point A, measure 45 millimeters and label this point as B. Now in order to get point C, you must now swing two arcs. Open your compass to a radius of 40 millimeters and using B as the center and radius 40, draw an arc. Also, open your compass to a radius of 30 millimeters. And using D as the center and radius 30, draw an arc to intersect the previous arc. Identify and label this intersection as point C. Now draw a line from point C to D and from point C to A. Now outline your given quadrilateral ABCD. On the outside of your quadrilateral, conveniently identify and label a point as point P. Now from point P, you will draw lines to pass through all corners A, B, C, and D of your quadrilateral. Now from point P, draw a line at a convenient angle to you. Now divide this line into 8 equal parts. Open your compass to a convenient radius and scribe arcs to intersect this line that are equally spaced. Now label the intersection of arcs from 1 to 8. You are now given a ratio of 3 to 5 to reduce this quadrilateral. So based on this ratio 3 to 5, you will draw a line from the 5th intersection on your line to point B. The next step is that you will draw parallel lines to line 5B from point 4, 3, 2, and 1 to touch the line PB. Using your two set squares, draw these parallel lines. Remember to hold the set square in your left hand steady. It must not move. Now identify the point where the third division intersected line PB. Label this point as B1. Now draw a parallel line to line AB from point B1. Use your two set squares to do so.
to the line BC, draw a parallel line at point B1 to this line. Now label the intersections of the two previous lines as A1 and C1 respectively. You will now use your two set squares to draw a parallel line to AD from point A1. Remember, the set square in your left hand must not move, it is stationary. Now label the previous intersection as D1. Parallel to line DC, you will draw the final parallel line from D1 to C1. Now outline your reduced quadrilateral A1, B1, C1, D1. Now we have just reduced your given quadrilateral A, B, C, D. To get A1, B1, C1, D1. Now in order to enlarge A, B, C, D to a given ratio of A to 5, draw a parallel line to line 5B at point 8. Use your two set squares to draw this parallel line. This line intersected the line extending from point B. Label this intersection as B2. With the use of your two set squares, draw a parallel line to line AB from point B2. Identify and label this intersection as A2. From A2, you will draw a parallel line that is parallel to line AD. Again, use your two set squares to do so. Now from point B2, draw a parallel line that is parallel to line BC. Now label this previous intersection as D2. From D2, you will now draw a line that is parallel to line DC. Now identify and label this latest intersection as C. Now outline your enlarged quadrilateral A2, B2, C2, D2. Now your given quadrilateral A, B, C, D was reduced in a ratio of 3 to 5 to give you A1, B1, C1, D1 and enlarged in a ratio of 8 to 5 to give A2, B2, C2, V2. Now border your paper and complete your title block.